Hey guys, we're here with 100% Math and Science, and we're back with another video. Today, we look at the three methods of transferring charge, charging by friction, contact, and induction. Let's get into it. Okay, so just as a bit of background information, when an object has a charge, it means there's an imbalance in the number of protons versus electrons, which means there's either more electrons if it's negative and more protons if it's positive. And when an object's positively charged, it means it loses electrons because an object can only lose or gain electrons. Protons don't move, move from object to object. Okay, so charging by friction. So let's get a diagram. So if we have two neutrally charged objects, which means there's the same number of protons as electrons, we have say for the sake of this, this isn't realistic, but just to show that there's um, a neutral charge, two protons, two electrons, same here. When these objects rub together, um, when the object that has a weaker hold on electrons will transfer electrons to the other object, making Let's say this object has the weaker hold on electrons. It will transfer some of its electrons to this object, making this object negative and this object positive. Keep in mind, charging by friction only works with insulators. An insulator is a material where electrons don't move easily. This is because if they were conductors, the electrons would want to go back to their neutral position since they can move easily and the two materials can't be the same material since they have the same strength of holding on to their electrons so they would roughly give the same number of electrons so the charges the net charge on each object would stay about neutral okay so the next is charging by contact say an object has a charge just say it's a negative charge it has more uh, electrons than protons it can, this is pretty simple, it can touch a neutral object. It can touch a neutral object when it comes in contact with it. It will transfer its negative charge and it keeps its negative charge to the other object by transferring electrons. If the object is positive, then it will, then what will happen, so if this is a positive, object it has more protons and then this is neutral it will this object since protons can't be transferred this object will actually transfer electrons and both objects will become positive this only works if the objects are um if the charged object object is a conductor because it needs to have the ability to transfer electrons so the third method of charging is charging by induction. So charging by induction is when you have a charged object, let's say it's negative and a neutral object. And what happens is the charged object doesn't touch it, it goes near it. So it doesn't touch the neutral object, it goes somewhat near it and it induces a charge on the neutral object which means since this object has a negative charge its negative charge pulls the protons in this in this neutral object closer to where the object is so proton proton protons and repels the electrons because negatives or like charges repel and opposite charges attract so there's not actually a net charge in this object but there's a negative charge on this half of the object and a positive charge on this half of the object and when the object is moved away the charge goes away and the electrons and protons rearrange to their normal position Thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video comment any questions or if you want to see any new content like and subscribe 100 percent math and science